Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to improve the performance and decrease the loading time of Fallout 76 on Windows 11. So Fallout 76 in 2023, like the previous titles in the series, has an immersive and interesting game world to explore. It's also got some quirky and memorable NPCs, and certainly compared to the game's initial launch, it's effectively just Fallout 4 online now. That being said, performance of the game itself can be flaky at times. However, in this video, I'll cover some steps you can do that will drastically improve the performance and the responsiveness of the game. So the first step we're going to do is to unlock the game's frame rate. Now, Fallout 76 is unique in this particular series in that it's possible to unlock the FPS limit from the default of 60 FPS without negatively affecting the game world. So if you did this in the previous titles, what would happen is that killing people in VATs would launch them over the horizon, clipping into objects would automatically kill you, NPCs would speak twice as fast, and the lockpicking minigame became almost impossible. In addition, you'll probably find that the game's physics will go haywire, and that often caused the game to crash shortly after. Now, I have covered actually how to safely unlock the framerate of both Skyrim Special Edition and Fallout 4 on this channel before, so what I'll do is I'll leave a card link in this video. So to unlock the framerate of Fallout 76, all you need to do is make a single edit to the game's Fallout 76 prevalent ini file. And more specifically, what we're going to do is turn off the game's in-game vsync, or as the game calls it, iPresent interval. So to find that file, we need to navigate to Documents, My Games, and then the Fallout 76 folder. And as you can see, here's the file here. Now, if you don't see this particular file, or indeed the Fallout 76 folder, then make sure you've launched the game at least once to generate it. So let's open this up with Notepad. Within the file itself, we want to search for the phrase iPresent, which we can do with Ctrl and F. As you can see, it's about halfway down. And we want to set up this option here to zero, which will disable it. Obviously, by default, this will be set to one. Once we've done that, save the file and close it down. Now, what this will do is allow the game to run with an unlocked frame rate. However, I still recommend locking it to a sensible value using something like NVIDIA Control Panel or whatever the equivalent is for AMD. Now in my particular case, I've set it to 120 FPS since I have a 165 refresh rate FreeSync monitor and anything of above 120 FPS to me is kind of redundant, but of course your mileage is going to vary. However, once we've done this, we can move on to the next step and that's going to make some in-game tweaks to improve the performance and decrease the loading time. The second step in the process is we're going to improve performance and reduce the loading times. So to my knowledge, unlike Fallout 4 and Skyrim, there's not actually a Beth NI equivalent for Fallout 76 that allows you to optimise the game's ini files in order to improve performance and graphical fidelity. However, what you can do is use a separate Fallout 76 ini to the same effect. Now there's a couple of these available, however the best one I've found is the aptly named Fallout 76 Custom ini Performance Tweaks and Improved Load Time mod on Nexus Mods. Now the actual custom file itself does quite a lot and it's all documented on the mod authors page so you can scroll through there and have a read of it. However, in summary what you'll find is that some of the things you'll notice straight away is that the game itself will load much more faster, the intro movies and the prompt to open the atom shop are now removed, loading into a game session or even loading into a new area is far quicker and also aim down the sights of weapons is faster. Now of course the rest of the changes that are made are completely graphical and it's an aim really to improve the overall performance no matter what hardware you have. So to install this custom ini file, all you need to do is click on the file tab and then download the mod. Once the mod's downloaded, you want to extract the archive and then within the extracted folder, take a copy of this one here where it says Fallout 76 Custom. So we're going to copy that and we're going to go to the same folder we were looking at earlier. The documents, my games, Fallout 76 and then just paste it in here. If you get a prompt to overwrite anything, choose the option to replace the file. So at this stage, we're all done really. Uh, so what we'll do next is we're going to launch the game and we'll just play a little bit of game footage, just a couple of minutes or so.
So in conclusion, Fallout 76 has massively changed since its initial launch, and I personally think it's worth playing in 2023. I find that the world is interesting to explore, the perk card system makes it so that you can switch your build on the fly, and with the addition of frequently updated content, as well as NPCs, it now makes the game fun to return to, especially if you've got a bad taste when the game first came out. As always guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to see more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and no doubt I'll see you next time. Bye now.